Hello, uh, view, uh, subscribers and viewers. Welcome once again my new screencast. I already talked about the, my new screencast about the how the enterprise application development based on the Angular and TypeScript technology. Because the previous screencast, I was like almost uh, 70 videos about the view technologies like Java based view technologies like Grails uh, view technology and also the, the free marker view technology and timely view technology and last was the uh, jsp view technology so a lot of viewers and subscribers asking me to make uh, some so give some ideas how can how can uh, make a enterprise level application with the with the javascript based framework view technology like angular uh, or even though in the reactive react framework and with the with the TypeScript uh, programming language. So uh, for for this case, I already I already give you some some screencast already thirty five dot one up to dot four the last weeks it was released it's just in the into the that those are available in my uh, YouTube channels. So today I like to give it to more theoretical background and give how can you start the uh, to how can you prepare your your angular based applications or how can you install your angulars and your angular servers the node.js server and even how how you can start your 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 projects and how you can set all the all the the, the javascript based components to integrate the, to the your applications and that's that's i this questions uh, which component you need to use and i need to discuss with here and with the use cases for those um, libraries or components and and then and this is the this is the one of the applications like it has a two part like it says a geo part and it's a non geo part non geo part means it's a normal applications like yeah, like application like web application like PayPal or or, or uh, Amazon or eBay those type of or any 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 company websites or any 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 applications but geo application means if you think about the Google Maps or your navigation Tom got uh, car navigation applications or, or your banking applications like a lot of bank bank or insurance or any any companies now are looking for the the part of the application geo part and non geo part that's why that's the idea to to give it to you how the enterprise level application build on based on the considering this those two part that that means you have a geo part you have a non geo part that's the idea how can we build the the complete enterprise application with the angular and and typescript based programming language if you saw here that my my titles like it has angular as a font 10 and is a typescript typescript as a language programming language and it's the the application will be communicating the um, uh, we are trying to develop our angular uh, font 10 or views uh, or gui or ui based on the angular and typescript language but in the in the in the in the middle layer or in the middle layer i mean the backend layer it's all the communication with the uh, spring boot rest services or microservices and this is the microservices handle and um, the database in backend server is the postgis sql and then the extension with the postgis so that means you have a you have in total uh, four or five microservices to deploy in different part of uh, different part of the application like you have a payment payment microservices you have administrative user management microservices maybe you have a, a plot registration microservices building registration microservices and a lot all of things i will show you when i start development for those those microservices so that means we the microservice is already there you need to call the microservices uh, based on the your use cases and build your font 10 with angular and typescript programming language that's the idea so this is the initial uh, layout for the complete application you see the the address registration actions and uh, means action means in the completely the the complete the crude operation mean create uh, read update and delete operation this is the standard operation is is is, is already defined into the into the respective microservices or rest apis I, I, this is the the previous skin you know, just you go to my channels you have a lot of example how we can build a, a spring boot based even though grails or groovy based microservices and then then communicate the communication I, I will show you how the communication is done by here 
for, for Angular and TypeScript based programming language. That's the communication part. But the when the service is there, this is easy to communicate. That's I show you. I, I will show you when this is this is the integration is done. So you see the address registration action with the all operation like create, update, delete, and and uh, operation read operations and same thing user registration operations and user role definition. That means this uh, this user registration user role is one set of the user management systems and there is the administrative there is the plot registration. That means if you are living and city area or even though where you are living that means you one plot has a multiple buildings you are living inside the buildings so building has a floors and then floor has a units that means you need left right or, or or north and south or east and west than the unit and those the information this is the the enterprise application the governmental demand that means the city planners or city governments need this application to maintain to manage their the all the 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 buildings and floors and floors and units even though who are the owners of those those util those 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 those, those infrastructure uh, that's why the city government would like to see this application as a as a, as, a, as a combination of the geo and non geo part if you see that in the down level you see the uh, you register address that means you have a geo portal that means the the client or, or government can go there, okay, click this button and see where the exactly the all the registered user is located with, with their all personal information, their first name, last name, or national national ID or even the passport number. Those things information can see uh, can see it in the maps and then then the, the or any forces or any 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 administrative forces like police or fire service or even though different or hospitals or clinics can use those information where the, the user is registered and where they are located then they have a really quick very quick response with that those with those those fee, those, those register users and those services and then they maybe they can optimize their services their times and their cost even the efficiency of the services the level of services i mean that one so that means that here the, the all the register plots maybe the city has thousands of thousands of plots need to register and different type of plots and residential plots or, or or commercial plot or industrial plots and then there is you see the the register buildings that inside the plot you have a if you see the graphs i will show you how this is it implemented you see the graph there is a, this is the big plots and he's already one two three four five uh, plot uh, buildings is registered and buildings how many store this building has maybe five or six stored buildings and each floor each building has maybe uh, floors informations and then unit informations that means that means this is the enterprise application the every information was city is maintained they can see in the maps and they see the 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 maps means the geo part they can see in the maps and non geo part they can see here that to register or to update can delete and edit it that's that's the idea the basic idea uh, to build this application it was the same application in my previous screencast like 34 dot up to 1 dot up to 30 dot uh, 20 to 32 it was the timely based technical timely based java view technology just follow this that one then you can get the really clear idea what in the time left technology handle the view technology now how the angular and type script handle the, the same functionality same enterprise applications so you see that the the relative uh, mockups the GUI by ui operations and you see that the registration forms you see that you have the new you can create a new registration uh, user you can edit it and delete it and you can save it and then after the cancellation i will show you when i start the development but this is the initial mockups how it's look like will be look like the user role the same information here is a plot registration and all lot of information is there building registration information is there then you can do uh, this one this is the the individual components i mean the the type script components you can you can you can you can you can adjust or you can manage or flexibly manage your your content management system maybe city administrator says the city department says the applicant the client says okay we need a application part of the user management so that means you you completely divide the application this part user registration and user role one components and deploy their machines and the application is running but they are responsible only the registering the users 
and that the, the second part of the application may be the plot registration of buildings one 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 specific